Hey guys, I'm here tonight because I'm going to do a pajama Dollar Tree haul. Woohoo! Yes, already all ready for bed. I got some like air drying, wet, damp hair, and a little cray crayness because I took this evening to take a long shower and get like face pampering and yeah. So, and to top that all off, I'm going to bring you a Dollar Tree haul, which I have not done in a hot minute. I know. Um, if you've watched the last couple of my um, uh, my friend mail unboxings, you'll know that I've just been out for a while. But I am back, and um, I have been. I'm not stopped Dollar Tree shopping. I just haven't been filming everything that I've gotten. So I'm coming to you tonight with a quick haul. Um, and I'm joining you all natural in my red rosy cheeks. That's how much I love you guys because I'm not a big fan of these things. But I will show them to you anyways. And my awesome My Little Pony cup, which is filled with the most delicious drink in the whole world. Okay, maybe not quite that much, but a very delicious drink, which I held from the Dollar Tree. This iced coffee... Um, with almond milk. This is the mocha one. That's the one that I have currently. And I'm one of those cray cray people who can drink coffee any time of the day and it doesn't affect me. Um, I'm not really sure it actually helps me wake up in the morning. It's just a habit and I still need it in the morning. <laughs> but, um, I also found the vanilla and I found a caramel. And you guys, these now expire until April of this, of 2016 a long time I think I got about I got a case of each one which is eight in each one um they retail for about four dollars in my area in the grocery store so I was excited to see those all right um and just so you know my haul is in no particular order it's in bags still which I don't do that very often but it is that way tonight the next things that I have are some books I've been hauling recently um I got this People Puzzler. Um, it has just all sorts of puzzles, mostly crosswords. Um, I think it is all pretty much crosswords. So that, I picked that up for a dollar. Um, it's going to go to my husband. I don't generally do crosswords. I like word finds. Um, but he enjoys crosswords, so I picked that up for him. And then I picked up some books this is The Secret Lives of the Four Wives. Um, they just, I picked up some stuff that looked interesting. I've been wanting to do some entertainment reading, so. This is my, uh, this is Graveminder by Melissa Marr. So, I'm excited to see this one. Like this one. Where's the retail price on her? Oh, it's covered with another barcode. That's awesome. But I don't know how much that one retailed for. But this, this one, the secret, I mean, it says $2.97 on it. So I don't know if that was an original price at the bargain book tag too, but still even getting it for a dollar. Then this next one is called Found by Shelly Shepard Gray. Like this one is like the third or second in a series. Um, if you look on the back, there's some more on there. I don't mind necessarily reading books out of order, but they generally give you enough back information. And if I like these enough, um, I'll go check and see if my library has the other ones. If not, you know, Amazon. It. I read a book over the summer that I got from Dollar Tree that was kind of like that. I thought it was a standalone book, but then I realized it was kind of in a series or at least related, and I totally searched those out on Amazon because I like the book so much. So, and then the next one is Never Come Back by David Bell, and that one was on sale for eleven twenty five, like before it got to the Dollar Tree. And it was a fifteen dollar book originally. So excited to pick up some just more entertainment reading for a dollar. You can't beat that. Um, so. The next thing I have here is, oh, okay, these are um, some Kellogg's NASCAR uh, fruit snacks. They're an eight pack. 
which was for a dollar, which is fantastic. I mean, most of the Dollar Tree fruit snacks are only five or six packages in there for a dollar, and these are name brand, and they don't expire until March. So, I can ship quite a few of those because with seven kids, um, here after school every day, having a snack is thing. And, you know, the oldest is 12, but they all still love fruit snacks. So, the next thing that I picked up, um, is, this is Sicilian chicken. You now, we, ch these have been out for a while, and my store still has these. I just went the other day, and they still have some of them. And, so, I got a few of the Sicilian chicken. We haven't tried that one yet. Um, but we did try the sesame, um, I think it's sesame stir fry or something. That was amazing. So I, they were like, if you see that again, get more. So I think they got more, but I can't remember. So we'll see in this call. And I found the So Natural, um, dried, freeze dried fruit. I have tried all of them because I got several bags of each kind and I like them. So this is the peaches. Some people weren't sure about these. I like them. They're a little tart. They're not super, super sweet, but I think they're delicious. The apples and then the bananas. I really liked the bananas, guys. I don't know. I thought they were really good. Um, and if you don't buy freeze dried fruit often or have never bought it before, um, it is expensive. Yeah. And so getting it like for a dollar for point, I mean, it's not even an ounce, 0.7 ounces. So this would probably like at World, like Whole Foods or something like that, would be like four or five dollars for this bag. I'm not even kidding. It's crazy expensive. So, um, and I love these, and the kids, my kids like them too, especially the little ones. So, okay, the next thing that I found. Oh, I guess bought this random. It looks like a hot mess because my daughter, my one-year-old daughter, was opening it in the cart. But it's just a bunch of combs because my husband wanted some combs for his beard. <laughs> um, but it also had this, this package also had this one, which is good for the curly-haired girls. Um, my oldest has insanely curly hair. And then her best friend now lives with us. And she also has insanely curly hair. So wanted some more... Um, just hair tools to manage all that curl going on. Because uh, I don't know what I'm doing in that department, as you can tell. This girl doesn't have curly hair to save her life. So, uh, the next thing I have... Oh, they are on my fingernails right now. The Saucy and Chic ones. And if you can't tell, they're a brown chevron with kind of a light tan. And I noticed that when I put them on, the tan is almost a little bit see-through. Like, almost like a peachy nail color, um, but I'm really enjoying these. I think they're great for fall. Um, oh, I saw these My Little Pony toothbrushes, and they're super cute, and my one-year-old just, like, loves tooth, or uh, loves ponies, so, um, and they're soft, and they're small, so these are gonna go in her stocking, because I always put toothbrushes in my kids' stocking, so, um, and then I saw these nails, and these are really cute. They're not, like, super fall or winter, but I don't really care if I'm in the mood. I'll, I will rock them. I love them. Okay. All right. Then the next thing I found, some really cute, or these are cool toys. They're going to be for my nephew and my son. I got some duplicates. These are Monsuno toys. They are made by, I mean, I know you can buy these in the store. What's the company? I don't know if they're like Mattel or not, but something like that. And like my son has some of these. I held some from there before and I like, he loves them. And you can get them at Target and Walmart. So it's that one. Here's another one. There's like several different ones, but um, like this little red guy. These, they, the little characters go inside here, and then you launch them, and they pop out and, like, fight each other. They battle each other, so, I don't know, definitely a boy thing. Go. Um, my son and my nephew are, like, are really close in age, and they have very similar tastes and things, so I thought I would pick 
them up each some and they can um, fight each other at Christmas. And then also another thing, these are from Hasbro that I found and these are called, I don't know, B Diamond Crossfire. They're also a battle type toy. So I got these for them for Christmas presents as well. So um, I know I have duplicates of some of these. That's a red guy. And an orange guy. So that. let's see what else I got in here. Uh, oh, I found this super cute dinosaur. My nephew is absolutely obsessed with dinosaurs. He wants to be a paleontologist. He just knows all about that. So I thought that would just go with his gift. Sorry, guys. I need a drink. And okay. I have oh these really cute nails, saucy and chic. They're coming out with some cute ones. I really like those. These, love those. That was like a purple and a lavender, if you can't quite tell. I don't know how my lighting's picking that up. Um, oh, I found this Survivor case. Um, it's six foot drop tested, everything for the iPhone 5. I mean, these things are pretty spendy in the store. And I know it's because the iPhone 5 is an older phone, so I'm sure that's why it's got a silicone grip. But my iPhone 5 is going, I have to find it, it's in a box, but it's going to my son. He had an iPhone 4 that he was just using the iPod, like as an iPod, the function, the phone service wasn't there. Um, that screen is really cracked. I cracked the screen on that and um, so I'm going to give him the 5. He had never switched when I switched my phone. So I'm going to pass that along to him because the function's great and I found this cover for that. So. It'll be perfect for him. Um, we needed some soy sauce, so I picked this up. It's light soy sauce. Um, it's by the Love You brand. I don't know if it's any good. I'm hoping it is. Um, the uh, We have had the chili sauce from this brand, and then they make cookies. And it's fantastic. It's made here in the United States. So um, this brand has been really good so far. So hopefully this is good. Uh, these one pound gummy gumballs. This has gummy worms and bears. They also have a one pound sour gummy set. I got two of these and the one of the sours, and they ripped through two bags already. So, oh, here's the sesame stir fry one. This was really delicious and it made seriously a super fast meal because I cooked the rice in the rice cooker which cooks in like 20 minutes and you don't have to pay attention so I could chop up my vegetables and stir fry them and put this on the and chicken and stir fry on the top and I really didn't have dinner together in like 20 minutes so those were awesome because this says 15 but you know by the time you're chopping things and okay that's everything in that bag and I'm on my last one guys um, oh, I hauled a couple of the Griffin cases. This one's not open yet. I have another one. I thought it was out here open. Oh, it's over there across the room. And this is for the iPad 2. I don't have an iPad 2. I have a couple of Android tablets. Um... And they're a little bit long, but this particular one is double inseamed. So I am in the process of ripping out a layer of the seam on the edges of it on the other one to experiment to see if I can make it modify it to fit my tablet. If not, it was a dollar and it's not a big deal. And I could pass this one that I haven't used on to somebody else. Um, they did have some of those really cute ones with the hard, like the plastic hard case that your, ta your iPad snaps right into and then covers like this. They have some really cute ones, but I couldn't modify that to fit anything and I don't have an iPad too, so I didn't pick those up. And then I scored 
on, I found the baby lips, you guys. So I got these stocking stuffers for my girls, for my older girls. So this is the Oat Orange. Um, I know that Candace, the lip balm queen, has done a swatch video if you guys are interested on how these are. This is Berry Balm. Um, most of them aren't really tinted too much because these are a little scary being like neon colors. This is Fierce and Tangy. Um, but if you're interested, go ahead and head on over to our channel. I can post a link to that video down below if you're interested. This one's Minty Share. I'm looking, I think that might be, oh, no, one more. Pink Shock. That's all of the colors. I got duplicates of those for stocking and suppers for both of the girls. And you guys, that is it for my haul this time. Um, it is not long compared to what I normally have, but I will be out again this weekend and hopefully I have some good stuff to bring to you then. And until then, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me, checking out my haul, and hopefully you see some good things that you want to, try, um, you know, look for. I know that I've been watching you guys' videos, and I have a list, so I'm, I'm out looking for stuff. Some people have been hauling some little pet shop toys, which I would love to get, some pony stuff, and there's some Star Wars stuff going on, and there was some other, like toys but I'm excited for this just like the stocking stuffer ideas and all sorts of stuff but anyways um thank you guys for hanging out and I will see you next time bye